In this video, I will show you how to do the hardware implementation of our project using the DE10 standard board. The first thing you want to do is check that the ID variation file has been created. You can do so on right here on project, add remove files in project, and check if this IP variation file not QIP RFID news not QIP is present in the file hierarchy of the project. If it is not present, you can create it right here on tools. Click on tools, then you can click right here on platform designer. It's gonna open this window. Then it's gonna initialize. And it might def it, it should default to the FPGA folder, but in case it doesn't, let's say, oh, I'm on the main folder of the repository, or right here, like I click, I'll click and find the repository, then click right here on FPGA, then click on this file right here, rfidneos.qsys, the platform design, designer system file. You can open it. Then once it's open, you can go right here on the bottom, click generate HDL. And on this window right here, you can go and check. You need to make sure that this is VHDL and not Verilog. On this drop down menu right here, this box of creating timing and resource estimates must not be ticked. The block file, symbol file must be ticked. There is no simulation model, so this one is none because we're implementing on hardware. And the path you should leave the default that is present right here. Then you can click on generate and it's gonna generate the QIP file, the IP variation file. I'm not gonna do that because I already done it. So uh, as you can see again here on add remove files and project. So let's say it's not right here, okay? So you go on right here, click on those three dots. Then right here on FPJ, you're gonna go to your folder, the one you chose on platform designer, click double click it. Then you're gonna go right here to synthesis. Then it's gonna be right here, the .qip file. You just double click it and it's added to the project. Then you can go apply and okay. Once the files are all correct, you can go right here on this drop down menu next to project navigator. You can click it and click on files. Now, on this case, the hierarchy already shows that this file, the RFID news hardware.vhd, is the top level entity. But in case you need it, you go right here, click on files, find this file right here, RTL slash, RTL slash RFID news hardware.vhd, right click it, set as top level entity. Then, once it's done, you can go back to hierarchy. It should show the name of the file. Then you can click right here on this blue play button to start the compilation. I already done the compilation earlier, so once the compilation is done, you can go right here on Programmer. The Programmer should show your hardware, the USB blaster, your device. In this case, the device has two outputs, the SOC, VA, the SOC VHPS and the board itself. Which has this device family. The user code and the checksum don't matter very much, but once you're done with the configuration, once you're done compiling, you need to check that this is the file that you generated. So you go right here on, on the repository, you go on FPGA, on output files, you're gonna find the SOF file that shows the compiled project. Double click it. Then it's gonna show right here in the box program slash configure. You wanna only tick the lower one right here. You don't wanna tick this one because this is not the one we're gonna use. We're gonna use. If by somehow your board is not if somehow your board is not detected, you can click right here on auto detect and it should find your board. The program itself should find your board. Once it's done and you checked right here the program configure, you can click right here on the start button and check the progress for the completion. You can see that my board has been successfully programmed. So now I can just close this window. You can save these changes if you want, but they don't really make any
any difference because if you change your board you need to change the device right here so you can save it if you want I'm not gonna save so once that is done we can go right here onto EOS on this case right here you can see that I already have a workspace but I'm gonna show you how to do it in case you don't have like you have a blank workspace so let's say like oh I switched workspace I'm gonna like other oh, then it shows right here which workspace on this case I'm gonna keep it but let's see that it, let's say that it's the blank workspace so first thing so let me just delete this one and delete this one On this case, I just deleted it from the workspace. You can also delete it from the disk, but I took delete it from the disk. So, a blank workspace. So, what you're gonna do here first is gonna go on File, then onto Import. You're gonna click it. Then, it's gonna show you some options for you to choose. The one you're gonna go to is right here on this little folder Neos2 Software Build 2 Project. You're gonna go into Import Neos2 Software Build 2 Project. Build tools project. Double click. Then on the project location, you're gonna go to browse. Then you're gonna find the repository itself. Once you find it, you go right here again on FPGA. Then you go on to here on this folder here, software. Then you're gonna go on to RFID test. This is the first one you're gonna import. So click on this folder, click OK. Check the clean project when importing, then add the project name. I recommend you use the same name as the folder from before, but you can add another name. Then you can go right here and click on finish. There we go. Now it's a clean project. Now we're gonna do the same. Go back onto file, import. Same thing, choose import Neos soft, Neos2 software build tools project, then go to next. Then you're gonna go to browse again. But instead of choosing the RFID test, you're now gonna choose RFID test BSP. Same thing, clean project, give it a name. Then you're gonna go and click finish. Then we have both projects right here. So first thing you want first thing you want to do is go right here onto RFID test BSP, right click it, then go on to Neos2 right here on the bottom, then BSP editor. It's gonna open the Neos2 BSP editor. It's a little bit small, but um so uh, first thing you want to check that the standard in the standard out and the standard error ports are all set to the JTAG UART zero and none of these boxes are checked. The only box that needs to be checked is right here on drivers on the Altera Avalon JTAG UART driver. You want to enable the small driver so make sure this one is checked. Then click right here on the bottom on generate. It's gonna generate your BSP then you can exit. Then you click right here on RFID test, right click, click on this one, build project. Oh, sorry, this um, this happens sometimes. This can happen to you. If it does happen, you just need to go right here, clean this one, then clean this one. So clean the clean. Uh, you can clean whatever order you want, but make sure to right click on both and clean them in case the error it is shown happens to you then you right click again go right here back on neos then click right here on generate bsp again it's gonna finish generating the bsp you can see right here on the bottom mine is running on the background yeah yours can run on the foreground but it doesn't matter so go right here back on to build project now the project is building takes around 10 seconds to do a build depending on what computer you're using it might take a little bit more my computer right here 
you see two. 13. Okay, so now both builds are finished. So now what you need to do is go right here onto run. You're gonna click run configurations. And on this case, I already have a run configuration, but I'm gonna show you how to do one. So right here onto Neos 2 hardware, you're gonna right click, click on new. Then it's gonna be a new configuration. You need to make sure that the project name right here is RFID test and the .l file is the one referring to the project we just created. Then you're gonna go right here on target connection. You can see that my USB, the board that I put plugging using USB is working. If it and it's showing right here, if it's not, click right here on refresh connections. It's gonna show again. Now you can see right here there is a small error saying system timestamp mismatch. You can just click right here on the system ID check that ignore mismatch system timestamp. The system ID cannot be ignored, but the timestamp can. So you can click on apply, then click on then. Oh, just one thing before you start running. Um, I'm sorry. Um, uh, step previous to this one on the main project right here. You need to click on this folder helpers, click on this one, config.h, and make sure that this line right here, line 16, the mask loopback value is not set to 1, but to 0. So I'm going to clean this project, build it again. Now the build is finished. So. Once again, run, run configurations, our configuration that we made earlier. Check, make sure that the target connection is still okay. And you can click right here on run. The console is gonna show that it's running. Then as you can see right here, you have a DE10 board sending the information on the same board itself and not a loopback mode. You're gonna only use loopback mode whenever you're using the model sim simulation. You can also do this you can also do this implementation using two and stand ones. One using one is works as the tag and one working as the reader. On this case I'm doing the both functions on just one but you can do it separately. We have files to do so. And on this case and say you want to like on two boards so first thing you want to do is click right here on the main file in this case is hello world then um, you're gonna go right here onto your folder you're gonna go into FPGA and there are two C files that you can see right here one is tag and the one is reader so just open the file Just copy all the contents right here, copy all of them, so Control a then Control c then you go back into Eclipse, and instead of this code in Hello World, you just play, press Ctrl-A and Control v This one is now working as a tag, and you can do the, other, the same thing on another board, but working with it as a reader, and that's it.